Oh dear, oh dear, Wilbur Zoot. So if you don't know who this guy is, Wilbur Zoot is, uh, well, when, I, when I'm about to say, he's a Minecraft um, creator, which should be all the red flags you need, considering that these guys get found out on a weekly basis as being something dodgy or other. I mean, we had, what was he called, Dream, we've had fucking everyone come out. So basically, he likes nibbling on people. He's an abuser who is not to be trusted. What we're actually going to be talking about though and obviously this is very serious it's his response his response is baffling needed him to really stop biting so hard i didn't like it and i tried telling him over and over again because he wasn't actually trying at all to not hurt me um so like i said he's a nibbler he likes to bite he was um basically abusing his girlfriend at the time this lady here she did not like it they obviously weren't together now and she's come out and exposed him he said he would try at first and then he started saying things like it was my pain tolerance that was too low or I'm exaggerating how much it actually hurts. He's not even biting that hard. I'm, I'm being dramatic. Um, but his biting escalated to a point where I was covered in bruises all over my arms and they hurt and he would poke at them for fun a horrible horrible situation here obviously this is a very serious topic and this will bazoot broke was not given a frick he didn't care he used to abuse her beat her whatever it might be and he seems quite proud of it he was very um unapologetic he was almost quite yeah i did this this is me this is what i've done and she came out and she's not the first one to come out to say something and he even felt so comfortable showing off my bruises that he had caused to our friends because he would bite me so hard by accident. By accident, he would even- So you don't bite anyone by accident. This guy is an abuser and he got away with it. And he's a Minecraft YouTuber. He's a weirdo who plays Minecraft and streams to kids. I mean, that should be all the red flags you need. I'm not sure why you make him your boyfriend, but- Wilbur Sir has bit me harder than that. Yeah. He just bites everyone. He bite you. He bite you. Like we're speaking about fucking zombies here. Like this is this is a, a man who plays Minecraft and he's going around nibbling people. Not just nibbling, absolutely, you know, king shark and ripping their limbs off. Emo man. He would. Wilbur said bite. He would even joke that it looked like he abused me. Which he liked. How bad it looked. Um biting my arms as often. Hey, look, no, I can't I'm not sure. Ah. No, I so you just seen it there on proof video camera this guy clearly is a bit of a strange freak who enjoys nibbling people i broke up with him and i didn't even want to um because i couldn't even see for such a long time after um what it really was that had happened that he had abused me and in fact we left things as we want to be friends and he can never imagine ne not speaking to me again um, and then he never spoke to me again. All the it's a very sad, I feel sorry for this woman, she's come out, and just like all YouTubers, he came out with an apology. We're gonna read and review this apology like normal people do. So in the past few weeks, several allegations have been made, so yeah, uh, conduct from an ex-girlfriend. I want to emphasize that, although I feel it fair off of my perspective, this person's feelings are completely valid. So this, to me, is already speaking like, you know, you've got mummy and daddy to write. I'm not sure how old he is, but if you play Minecraft, you must still be, you know, living in your mum's basement or something. I've taken my time sharing this statement as I wanted to process and respond respectfully. During our relationship, I regretfully became slobbish, disrespectful, selfish. These actions caused a lot of pain in my ex-girlfriend and sense of therapy to address these behaviours. So if you notice something here, it's called diverting. It's quite a simple technique. It's where you you say, yes, I did something wrong, but it's not what you think I did. So you think I beat her, ate her, bruised her, hurt her. But no, I was just slobbish. I was just mean, disrespectful, selfish. So basically he's saying, okay, well, I could have done this, but he's not He's not admitting it, is he? He's basically saying, yeah, I, was, I wasn't very nice. We've all been not very nice to people whether it's girlfriends friends parents whatever it is you know they say you're being a dick it's like, oh well i'm just i'm just doing this i'm just doing that you know you're trying to say you're not saying no i'm not but you're, you're trying to almost manipulate it into making yourself look slightly better we all do it it's human nature i've seen so he's sought therapy apparently because he loves nibbling people i don't know usually when i want to bite something i usually go buy a piece of chicken or you know a burger maybe a slice of pizza take out my uh my my mouth needs on that i think you'd call it i've come to realize how much my past behavior hurt this person i 
truly compassionately believe I've made great strides from the person I once was and continue to grow. What a fucking donkey. So he's basically saying, yeah, I used to bite people. I probably still do. I probably pay hookers to do it secretly and don't tell anyone. But, you know, he's, he's made great strides to improve as a human being. What a guy. So he's gone from bruising and eating and nibbling people to, you know, maybe just chewing on some dog toys. I don't know. The allegations of, allegations of abuse, particularly in the form of biting, deeply shocked me. Which shouldn't come as a surprise considering, you know, I've shown you two minutes of evidence and we already know this guy's a bit of a freak. Throughout the relationship, I understood from numerous conversations and text exchange on the subject, this behaviour was conceptual, playful and reciprocally enjoyed. Reciprocally enjoyed meaning she enjoyed getting bitten and bruised, which, look, I know there are some people who like that. You know, people like being a, a little pained. But I, I think when the fact that you were joking in front of people that it looks like you abused her, it doesn't bode well for you. And I think it makes you look even worse. Just admit you, you were a horrible twat who plays Minecraft and manipulates kids. I choose not to publish them and I I truly believe those personal messages exchanges reflect mutual affection and understanding. Out of respect for her, I choose not to publish them and I emphasise my perspective, which is fucking disgusting to say. She's basically he's basically hanging this over her head saying, look, I've got evidence, which I doubt he does, that I'm not going to post because I'm the bigger man. I'm the better man. I didn't do this. I'm a good guy. It's dog shit. He's trying to make her feel paranoid and worried saying, oh, what about if I am misjudging this? What about if I did accidentally agree to it? It's a simple man move. Men do it all the time. It's quite common and it's horrible, especially to put it on in front of 39 million people. I emphasise my perspective and not share to diminish or invalidate anyone's feelings. Instead, I show it to hope that I can offer a genuine, fair and relevant insight into my understanding of the situation. While I may perceive our interactions differently, I recognise that this person has processed and expressed feelings of hurt. I want to say sorry for the pain that I caused. Like, fuck off. The pain has been caused. You've now been exposed and now you're apologising. You didn't speak to her for fucking ages. I'm fully committed to understanding and addressing her concerns going forward. I hope my perspective shed some light on the situation without detracting from its message. I am dedicated to earning and maintaining the trust of those around me now. God, dude, what a load of shite. What a load of absolute bollocks that was. I can't believe. That's actually making me laugh. Even Lil Tay. <laughs> Lil Tay's fucking tweeting about it. Lil Tay. Lil Tay. What, what's happened to her? Anyway, so that, you know, was pretty poor. But thank God, someone has broken this down for me. In, in an English letter. Now, I'm not going to read all this, um, but it, it, it's a great point. Does not offer evidence of any claims, you know, word allegations is intentionally used to cast doubt on Shelby's statement, which is obviously in Inspector Calls, which I'm sure you all very much remember. This is actually great. Fuck you, Wilbur. Now, I would agree with this because this is basically passing the book. This is saying... I, you know, it was consensual. I didn't do this without it. Necessary point is made in third to last sentence. See, by the most people would have clocked off. I'm surprised I made it so long. So this is Will Bazoot. He's got 57k likes. So all the Minecraft kids have come to his say. Now this is the fucking most hilarious part. Do you remember that dream fella? You know, the guy who was a twat. You, He's trying to be the bigger person. You are being dishonest with yourself or dishonest with us or both. You, just, you know, why is he dipping his oar in? Why is he getting involved? She had reason to be afraid to say your name, but you shouldn't have been afraid to say her Shelby I'm sorry he had go through this blah blah thank you for being brave he's trying to make himself look like the good guy because he was a fucking Nazi fuck you dude that that that's scary because he's trying to make him dreams trying to make himself look like the good guy he's not the good guy he is the worst type of guy someone who's you know able to manipulate and pretend that he is a decent fellow when he's actually a twat this time I met you I threw you yeah I remember that. I, re I do remember that I do remember what? that yes. what? see here don't forget what he's done and do not even for a second think this isn't performative that is getting a light that's so true now we have this man who i don't know who he is but he's going to comment on what he thinks i've been a few days so will someone i've known a very very long time my experiences with him have never or anything i've ever seen of him have never ever been anything like what's been detailed i stand with shelby 100 percent. i support her all the way I, it's just a shock you know i stand I, I stand with her the, the whole way um yeah he um he he only he only nibbled my big toe and I, I quite enjoyed it but you know when he, when he did it to the girls I just didn't look you know I'm I'm shocked I'm I'm I'm, I'm absolutely me 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 balls of X but I, I just can't comprehend I look at his face he's like trying to fucking oh yeah I I no idea no idea like this weird Minecraft YouTuber guy oh yeah another one's been exposed oh no I mean like all this stuff that I've heard over the past few days from not only her but the people in the replies saying what they experienced you know I I, I apologize for not saying very much but equally in that tune given that that is the case don't really have but beyond saying that i support shelby fully and condemn what will has done and his apology for being frankly disappointing i don't know how to articulate myself further i have my own experiences with 
abuse. He's done some bad stuff. The attention should be given towards Shelby and victims. <laughs> I've been abused before. Look at me, but also make sure you focus on her. She is, uh, she's the important one. I've been beaten and bitten before by him. He's actually, uh, you know, stuck a finger in the, uh, where the old son don't try. But this is about her. It's not about me. All right. It's not about me. This is about her. But also don't forget, I have also been a victim before. It's abuse generally in, in his behavior and it shouldn't be about speculating whether he did other things to other people that might be worse. If people have experiences, wait for them to talk about it. I personally don't and the this sort of stuff I've been seeing around what if he did this to Jack, what if he did that to Jack has been frankly very upsetting for me in an already upsetting situation. Really all I, all I want to say is go support Shelby and other victims of this sort of behavior. There's a link flying through chat now. What a good guy. What a hero. This guy reminds me of a firefighter, you know, bursting in and saving people's lives. One thing I want to know, so we had a subreddit, you know, for like little kids and now they've changed it to Wilbur Wright, who is um, a man who flew. I mean, he, he had a very nice hat, that's for certain. One thing, oh, just on the last thing, so Wilbur's been unmodding basically people and including a bot that posted links to support abuse and then, so he doesn't get banned for the TOS, created an alternative account called that, referencing a character from The Simpsons, which is Hank Sprungfield, which is basically, yeah, you'll recognise him if I showed you him, with the description of the character Vile Man. So that's basically what he's been saying. So he's been, uh, you know, blocking people who have been trying trying to basically out him. So Wilbur, what? how would you describe this man here? I would describe him as a piece of shit who should probably evacuate this planet. Elon Musk is doing tours into space. I recommend getting on one as soon as you can, my friend. Your career is done, over, and I couldn't be more pleased. Minecraft YouTubers cannot be trusted. I believe they should have a parent or guardian around them at all times. For reasons like this, Minecraft money goes to their head. They start making weird skins and doing weird tea bags, and then, you know, they've not actually spoken to a female in real life and neither have I but I didn't turn out like this and then you get someone like Wilbur who goes around nibbling biting and abusing people and then coming out with some terrible apology saying it's not his fault what a fucking donkey what a donkey but yeah thank you let's go fucking end this guy